In the summer of 1897, Union Pacific Railroad passenger agent Frederick Angier was leaving Cheyenne when a first vision of Frontier Days appeared. Fortune would have it that as he was waiting to board his train, he noticed that there was a scuffle going on near a boxcar here in the rail yards. Apparently a group of cowboys were trying to convince a very obstinate horse to get into a boxcar, and he was making a tremendous fight of it. As a matter of fact, Angel was very thrilled and excited to see what was going on. But he also stepped back and noticed that the entire affair was drawing a large crowd. And people were cheering as much for the horse as they were for the men. And he watched with enthrallment as they charged and they fought with this horse for about 15 minutes. And then it dawned on him. Why not have a Western celebration with real cowboy sports, authentic to Wyoming? They immediately got everything together they possibly could, including working with the local uh, Wind River Reservation for the Shoshone and the Arapaho Indians to bring them down. He also got engaged with the Fort D.A. Russell to get the military involved. And of course, when the call went out, all of the ranchers in the nearby area thought this would be a spectacle that even they would love to see. And immediately, the Union Pacific Railroad began to advertise all across the Colorado, Wyoming, and all the way down the UP line that Shine was going to have this wonderful new show called Frontier Day.